So table of content can help us to create a sub pillar pages for our blog posts. So yeah, um, to create a table of content, simply go to the marketing um, website and then blog section. So on your blogs, let me open my blog. I think I call that Pinterest. So, so in order to create a table of content similar like this, so you just need to go into insert and table and then choose to um two rows so here so in the two rows you um first row type in table of contents so on the second row you will put all of the headings so just use the number list because this one has a higher ranking in seo uh, seo stuff so what i do on my tape on my headings is i have different as much as possible if you can come up with a different rephrasing for every headline for example like on my heading one i put here feature one ar try on but here i just wrote augmented reality try on so if you can rephrase your augmented reality try on it would be great if you can replace the headings part so they don't look similar it's not a mandatory but if you can do that would be amazing so um what you're going to do is you highlight your heading here and then add a text so make sure you use the url and you can use heading one Okay, and do not check this part. So heading one, insert, and then for example, another heading, Pinterest, real-time analytics, make better decisions. This one, my other heading, so feature one, and then this is also the feature two. Okay, so as you notice here, like I put different wording, but they are just similar. Okay, so highlight that and then we'll another heading too okay so in order for them to link to each other so the goal really is if i preview that blog and if i click this it should goes to the respective topic so if i click the heading two it goes to the feature two if i click the three it goes to the feature three okay so right now if i click this part I'm not seeing any changes. So how you can make that connected to each other. So let's go back to the blog editor. And then um, you need to highlight this, your heading. And then click the advanced part and click the source code. And then you click the control F. So this is your heading name. And then typically it's just like this one. I already added it. But what you just need to do is just under the first word of your paragraph, you just need to add an ID and equal signs and um, open and close quotation. And then what was the ID number that you put? So the ID number you put is heading one so do not put a number sign just put in heading one so save and then if i save that then i preview that again if i click this augmented reality try on it goes here okay now let's jump into this part so we um we use a heading two as a hyperlink so our I mean this part this i this featured business should be also named as heading two okay so let's go back okay and we'll go back to the advance again we need to use the advance in order for us to put an id so advance control f search so this is the so i i wrote feature two before but the original state is just like this so h3 strong like that so you just need to put the id 
inside the H2 or inside the H1, um, H3, H4, depending on what heading you, you um, assign. So as an example, this one, I use H3. So you just need to put inside, uh, you just need to put the ID inside the heading. So ID equal sign, open and close parenthesis, and then um, heading two. Okay, so if I click save, and I save that, and if I click this one, now our scrolling thing already works.